Hello and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. As you can see right there, I didn't mean to reveal it right away, but check it out. Shiny Nidoran. It took me basically all of last night. I'm recording this video like 10 minutes before I upload it basically. Uh, because I really wanted to try to get this thing before this episode started. And here it is. Just a little, little Shiny Nidoran. Uh, so yesterday we, me and like a, well I mean it's not like I was the host of it or anything. I was just part of this big uh, Discord chat where everybody was trying to piece together how shiny hunting was gonna work in this game and we ended up figuring it out so if you remember last episode I did a bit of uh, of like combo catching I think it's called catch combo yeah that's the one and uh, basically that's that's how it works you you, you want to get a, a catch combo of like 31 at first we thought it was a hundred and one uh, which meant which meant that you would have to catch or no 111 rather so I, there was two two times where I got my catch combo all the way up to 111, so you'll notice if I go to my box, first of all, I have three Venusaurs, <laughs> because just from like leveling and a couple of other high level things too, uh, just because when I was training, uh, I was like, well, I might as well go for Pokedex stuff when I'm when I'm leveling things up, but don't worry, obviously I'm not going to use these Venusaurs, I'm going to go into Brock with that, but then more importantly... <laughs> All of these need to end. And luckily, they made it easy to get rid of these. I can just do Center Professor and then go through them like this. But it's still gonna take a while. I'm gonna do it off camera. Uh, and then when you send when you send them to him, he gives you some candies. Right, perfect little segue. So what candies are is and I'm telling you, when you start to go on big chains, you get so much. That's how I was able to chain forever because you get so much money from selling this candy that you. Uh, well, you can just buy Pokeballs again. Uh, they each sell for 10 gold each, and it's 100 for a Pokeball. But yeah, I got this Nidoran candy. I figured I would use them on him. It says it increases all of his stats. I don't know if it's Ivies or Eevees. I hope it's not Eevees, because if it is, this is a waste. <laughs> you don't want to be giving him everything. I think it is Eevees. It's saying CP. Again, I don't know what that means. <laughs> Let, let's give him, like, Mighty Candies and increase his attack. Yeah, if I just spam this, I, I can get his attack higher, which I think is what we want to do since he has an attack increasing nature. But yeah, shiny Nidoran mail. Awesome little uh, little thing there. My cat just swung my door open. Hello, sir. Acting like you own the place. Um, I don't know how long I should do this for. Because if, if it is an EV thing, then I would want it to be as high as possible for that. Oh, when it says needs four, they mean... Oh hey bud, <laughs> he's rubbing his face all over my uh, my hand because it's underneath my computer my computer desk. Not right now, buddy. Help me. <laughs> you want some love and when I'm recording. Yeah, every time you click on this guy now it uses four. Okay, I see. What? <laughs> you want to climb up right now? Okay, well now I've got a, a cat on my lap. <laughs> all right, well let's not do that. This thing already has thirty attack. I feel like this thing's a monster now already. Um. A bit strange. I don't. I don't really know how it works. Maybe I can just give it all of my candy, and it's just you. You can get these things up to nine nine nine. I don't know. Strange stuff. Is this actual stats or is this like Pokemon Go stats? No, these are actual stats. Thirty attack for such a low level. That's kind of nuts. Yeah. Doesn't this thing look good? I love them. Uh, I'm gonna. I don't know. I guess I'll just record the door open. Let's hope nobody screams, or else that's gonna show up on camera or in the video. Stop doing that. You're being cute right now, Sammy. <laughs> He's rubbing his face all over me. Calm it down, bud. You can chill on my lap. That's about all. All right, let's head up. <laughs> Stop being cute. All right. Uh, but yeah, the, the shiny for this thing is actually really cool. I like it. It, it makes it look like the female version. Um, the the shiny, but I wanted to catch it on camera. But like, I recorded everything of or, of me looking for it on camera. I did like 800 encounters, and it's like a 1 in 350. And of course, the one time where I decide, ah, oh, I'm just going to bring it with me while I take a shit, I get it. <laughs> so yeah. This is Berating Forest. At first, I wanted a shiny head Bulbasaur. Oh, sorry, I have to blow my nose. I'm going to mute my mic for this. Apologies. Um, but yeah, I wanted to have a shiny head Bulbasaur first. That's why I had like seven Bulbasaurs. Um... Because I, I, you know, I, that'd be a cool thing to have a shiny starter. Um, but I didn't realize how rare he actually was, so didn't go for that. Instead, I thought, hey, Nidoran's 
a really cool shiny. It's easy to hunt. Went for that. This is my first one. And there it is. Got it like just this morning. Now I'm recording. I really did wish I got the live reaction and everything. It's really cool. When you see them in the overworld, they actually shine as they come out of the ground. It's really cool. Um, but yeah. You'll notice I'm zooming by a lot of this because I've already... Oh crap, I've already fought everything here. I, I need this hand, bud. I can't just pet you the whole time. Um, yeah, I'm also rich now. Even though I bought so many Pokeballs, I made back all the money from the candy and stuff. What are you... Stop! <laughs> You're licking my hand now! Stop doing that! That's not the time, little guy. Okay. Pet commentary. I'm sure everybody loves that. Ooh, what is that? Okay. That Pidgey kind of looked green. I thought it was shiny. That'd be crazy if I got a, a random shiny like that now. I feel like it might actually happen in this series because you you don't have to encounter the Pokemon. You know, you can just see a shiny and say, oh shit, let me encounter that, you know? That's pretty cool. The thought of just being able to see a Pokemon you want and walking into it. I love it. I'm gonna have to, like, put you out of the room, little guy. I never call him little guy. This game made me say little guy now because whenever I was, I was hunting uh, Nidoran with the uh, family. I would, I would, you know, because the kids like playing the game too. I would go, oh look at this little guy, right? Now it made me say it. Actually, hang on, this is important. The higher the a Pokemon CP is, uh, the higher its combat power is. I hear combat power is a value made up of various stats and things combined. Sure. I'm going to now. Hold on, bud. I'm gonna close my door. Sorry. I accidentally shook my remote and Evie's mad at me. Here, let me pet him a little. Okay, well, that's all you get. <laughs> Listen, not my fault, doesn't like the pets. Hello, sir. Have you noticed any skinny trees on the roadside? Yep, 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 yep. Wait, 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 what? They can be chopped down with a secret technique called chop down, I hear. Chop down? <laughs> Excuse me? What happened to cut? Many Pokemon live in only forest caves. You need to pers uh, you need to be persistent and look everywhere to get different species. I love them. I can't, I can't get over it. I love how how cool the shiny looks. Having a shiny follower Pokemon is like my dream. I missed that from Soul Silver. So cool. You you'll have to excuse my gushing because I love it. New route, Route Two. Pretty cool stuff. And we're in Pewter City. All right. I don't know when we're going to be fighting the, uh, well, the gym. Maybe we'll keep it for next episode. Maybe I'll do it here. We'll have to see. Hey, nice. I was, I was hoping we'd run into each other. I do need some XP, so hopefully he battles me. You know, there's a Pokemon gym up this way, right, Bilbo? You can battle against the gym leader there, and he's seriously strong. You're going to get stronger. You've definitely got to try to take him on. Ah, jeez, Kirby. You're ready for a good battle, too, huh? Who wouldn't be? All right, then. You're making me want to cheer you guys on, so... Or, you're making me want to cheer you guys on, too, so take this. Five potions. Good stuff. Thank you, sir. Bought some for you with the prize money I've been earning in all my battles. Beat that gym leader, Bilbo. Uh, you can call yourself a true trainer. Give it your best. Bye! <laughs> he said bye. Okay. That's actually Kirby. I can't believe it. Okay. Um... I wanted to... Move Nidoran to the front, just that when, if we do get battles, which are super rare in this game because everything is done manually, then uh, I want it to be given to him. I could also just go and cast some shit and get his uh, level up like that. I love him though. He's like the picture perfect shiny, a little little blue guy. So cool. <laughs> I really, I really do love it. I hopefully we get to do a, a fight today. Maybe I'll go and do like the first fight in the gym or something at least. Um, and then we can see what he looks like in battle. Look at that. That's that thumbnail right there. <laughs> All right, let me, wait, wait, let me, let me get the thumbnail ready. Get him, like, up here. And then... That's not bad. <laughs> Gotta get them thumbnails, right? Hello, sir. Oh, not talking to him, apparently. We got our Pokemon to trade, so it's finicking our game. Oh, baby! <laughs> I always do that shit when I'm reading, uh, in, what do you call it, you know, in, in just games, when I'm, when I'm reading dialogue and that, uh, when I find it would be funny, I always end up fucking moaning like a zombie. Especially old Japanese men, they usually end up, <laughs> like, 
like uh, like that dedicated Wham guy. Super Guy 64, I think that was it. Man, I can't believe I remember that. That's so old. I really want to trade my Pikachu, so I'm trading my Clefairy for one. Or I really want a Pikachu. Pewter City Specialty, Pewter Crunchies. They're 500 bucks. You're limited to one package per day, though. Sure, I have the money for it now, so why not? Very hard, so careful. You got a bag of Pewter Crunchies. Medicine. I'm guessing it's going to be like a full heal, maybe? Let's have a look. Medicine. Okay. It. It can be used to heal all status conditions of a single Pokemon. Yep. Simple enough. Later on, we're going to get these things called lures, which help with shiny hunting a lot. So, I think it's like after the second gym, you can buy them. Peter City Gym Leader Brock is a rock type Pokemon user. Rock type Pokemon are weak to grass and water type moves. You don't pay attention to the type matchups, you can't defeat the gym leader. Also, fighting, they don't even say that. And steal. <laughs> huh? I'm on the phone. Scram! Mer. Chandy Chansey would be cool to get. I know the two that I'm gonna hunt for sure are Charmander and Magikarp. Uh, besides that, I think I'm just gonna just. If ever I see something I want to hunt, I'll go for it, try to get it for the next episode. But yeah, if you see like my team changing or stuff like that between episodes, you're like, hey, he's cheating, then it's either because I'm cheating or because I just decided to hunt a little bit of something. Um, an old shady guy suckered me into buying some, or this weird Pokemon is totally weak and it costs 500. He's talking about the Magikarp. I always buy that Magikarp just because I love Gyarados, but I don't know if... Uh, I don't know if he can be shiny, so I, I think I'd rather just get one from hunting. Dude! <laughs> I, I thought those dots on his on his hat were eyes. Ah, <sighs> it's so refreshing. Pewter City stays lovely and cool since it lies at the base of the mountain. My ideal town. And I, you know, I'm gonna start two-handing this controller. It's so weird holding this controller like this, but you gotta do it. Check out the, muse the museum already. I did not. Really? You absolutely have to go. We might, we might do that. Who knows? Who knows? I have gotten good at catching, though, which you would expect with so many uh, so many catches. Uh, I don't know what you're doing. I'm spraying repel around to keep wild Pokemon out of my flowers. You know what I'm doing? Yes. Okay, they're both doing the same thing. Sure. Um, I guess it's straight to the museum, then. Uh, what about you? My secret little Frey. When she walks with me, uh, she sometimes finds me items in the. She sometimes finds me items in the wild. Oh, it's like free for Butterfree. Gotcha. Oh, I think it might have just been about to find something. Whoops. Hmm. <laughs> I might learn new moves as they grow, but some moves must be learned by TMs. Can't even give me one. I see how it is. You better chance to check out your Pokemon. What if we don't Pokemon? Get them right in the center. We got to go on another sure thing. Look at this cute little Clefairy poster back here. Now I want to hunt Clefairy. Clefairy is a pretty cute shiny. It's it, the tips of his ears turn green. That's about it though. So it's it's one of those like boring shinies, but it's kind of cool. I think you need cut to go here. Yeah. I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. It's early in the morning, so you know that's when that's when all of this shit comes out. <laughs> yeah. So happy. Found in a knob, Barry. Backwards, that's banana. <laughs> and they actually look like bananas, I think, so I, I guess that's that's on purpose. That is a big slowpoke! Excuse me? Look at the size of this thing! Boog. Does she say it's like a huge one? What am I supposed to do with you, slowpoke? Oh, hello there. Can you do me a favor? Sure. Uh, I want to go to the Pizza Computer Museum, but my dear slowpoke here is just refusing the bunch. Boog. You can keep an eye on him for my dear slowpoke? Sure. Oh, thank you very much. In that case, please keep my dear slowpoke company for a little while. <laughs> okay. This thing is huge. Slowpoke is staring blankly ahead. Spent the time relaxing with slowpoke. <laughs> if that's it, I swear. <laughs> Here, this is for your trouble. You got a big pearl. She pulled her right off her necklace. I would love it if you keep an eye on my slowpoke again sometime. I mean, can I do it now? No, okay. Not that I would, because I got an episode to do. Check for hidden items. No, okay. Never know, never know. Uh, those, those flowers are looking promising. What do you think? Hidden item, hidden item? Uh, nope, that, that's a hidden cute boy. 
Moving around restlessly. Alright, you know what? I gotta get this thing in a Pokemon battle. Let's do it. That's where you can find Charmander, I'm pretty sure. Ooh. A little hidden item there. Gotta go for that, eh? Canadian's coming out now. When I see a secret, I become, I become even more Canadian. I need my uh, my maple syrup there. Can I sneak through here? Oh, you can go through bushes, that's right. The next defense. Uh, before I go to the gym... Oh, nope. <laughs> Let's uh, sneak by here. I want to see what happens if you try going right. Because normally that's where you get the running shoes, right? Let's see. So yeah, you're gonna be like, go to the... Oh, it does this? Is it gonna walk me or no? Oh, <laughs> okay, nice. In the original games, this little guy walks you all the way over to the gym and it like it takes like fucking a minute or something for him to walk you there. That's cool, they teleport you. If you think you got the right stuff, you should take on Brock. And he's off. Okay, um, how long have we been going for? I know it hasn't been 30 minutes, uh, 16 minutes. So you know what we're gonna do, actually? I'm gonna go ahead and train Nidoran up a little bit. Uh, is there, isn't there like rocket crunts in here? Something like that we can train off of? Maybe not, I don't know. We'll do the museum. Uh, it's 50 bucks for kids. <laughs> sure, let's do it. Just in case there's anything for us to do. Um, and, can I talk to you? No. Um, just in case there's anything for us to do, and then, oh my god, look at that! Dude, this is actually super cool! It's like a 3D museum. Possible the rare ancient Pokemon Kabutops. It'd be so cool if you get, uh, you know, like the bone Pokemon. I remember in Fire Red, that was a myth that would go that was going around for a while, is that you could literally get like a skeletal Aerodactyl and stuff. Various fossils from Mount Moon. Or, wow, an ancient Pokemon. Oh, it's just a replica. <laughs> I should be grateful for my long life. Never did I think I'd be able to get to see the bones of a dragon. Fossil the rare Pokemon, Aerodactyl. I forgot what I was saying. Uh, oh yeah, if uh, there's nothing to do here for training, then we'll just go straight to uh, catching a couple of Pokemon. I just want to teach a double kick before we go into the rock gym, right? This month, we're running a space exhibit. Okay. This is the Pikachu girl, I think. Oh, no, it's uh, Eevee because we're in Let's Go Eevee. I want an Eevee. It's so cute. Daddy, can you please get me one? No, I'll get you an Eevee soon, I promise. <laughs> oh, yeah. Doesn't he have a dialogue if you talk to him? Hey, you're Eevee. No, it's too attached to you. I can never tear such a bond. <laughs> you saw a beautiful crystal when you looked at the microscope. And they look like pieces of a meteor. It's been decades since mankind stood on the moon, and now we're following the dream of standing on that faraway red planet. News about space always makes me so excited. Same. Looks like an old space shuttle. course because of the size of everybody in this game that's probably pretty much a one-to-one -one replica <laughs> moonstone huh so special about it. it looks like an ordinary rock to me <laughs> and it says it's an object that fell on mount moon thought to be a moonstone Ooh. what oh he's interested in it because he uh, he evolves from that that's super cool that's a nice little feature <laughs> that's awesome yeah, when we want to get Needle King, we're going to have to get a Moonstone. That's a nice little uh, touch there. Good one, Game Freak. I still don't know how I feel about this game. I feel like it. it, it I, I would absolutely adore this game. I, to be honest, I think I already do. There's a lot of problems with it. You know, Pokemon's not Pokemon anymore. It's its own game. I still like this, though. Uh, but, you know, that, that's a rant for another day, really. Uh, what was I going to say, though? I think if you had the choice to fight wild Pokemon or and then like if you were fighting them and then you'd be like okay go into catching mode and it would be like this I would like it a lot better uh, because I, I still miss being able to fight Pokemon right but it's like it's whatever yeah you see I, I got really good at catching now but of course that's expected when you caught like you know I think I have like 300 Nidorans in the box or something once you hit 31, which was now found to be where you have to be, oh, uh, it's, it's, that was found that that's where you have to be for um, what's it called uh, for the max shiny rate. Again, we you, <laughs> I just started so bad. Uh, we used to think it was at 111, but we found it's 31 uh, for the catch combo. So yeah, when you get to to 31, you have a really good chance of finding shinies. 
Yeah, when you're, when you're going for like 111s and stuff, you're going to fill up your box like that. And again, next episode, maybe I'll start it off with like doing, or clicking A on yes, sell everything. That could be fun. I guess I shouldn't have everybody in my team because Eevee's going to get way too high level. I mean, it already kind of is. Um, I think it got high level when I was going for Bulbasaur's. Just catching like a couple of things got it all the way up there. So after this catch, I'll put away everything except for Nidoran. Uh, yeah, I mean, the Beedrill could use a bit of help too. I don't even know how long we're going to use Beedrill for. Level 5. I'm just going to go until we learn Double Kick and then we'll, we'll use Battling. I think Double Kick's at like level 7 or something. I hope it's not too far down. If it is, we'll... I don't know, we'll think of something. Um, open Pokemon box. I'm just going to drop everything off. Uh, remove. And then... Can I do... Yes, I can. Beautiful. Remove. Remove. And then... I, I we'll keep we'll keep Beedrill in here. Get it, like, level 7 or something. I think you get more XP for catching uh, huge or tiny Pokemon. We'll do that. That was not right. Give me some slack. Oh, what? Sometimes it is really janky. There you go. I, to give you, to be completely honest with you, I did the exact same throw all, to all three times there. What? Excellent on a Caterpie? You tell me that's not a catch? Come on now. A little bit ridiculous. You want me to give it a berry? What the hell? Nice. And then let me guess. This one's gonna catch. Watch one, two, three. <laughs> See, I'm telling you, man. I here's the thing, right? I found also it doesn't necessarily matter if you hit them for nice or excellent, whatever you want to hit them for. What matters is actually the most. The thing that matters the most is how hard you throw the ball. I know that sounds crazy, but like if you really chuck that ball at them, it gets like a red streak. And then that's like just a guaranteed catch half the time. I was so happy when I saw this little blue boy pop out the ground. I really thought it was a neater on female at first, but nope. That was my man's. I hope you can hear me well. I haven't really tested the audio since last time. I just assumed it was good. Hope so. Or else I'm gonna be real mad. And nope. Oh. <laughs> Never mind. I hope I hope you like this kinds of videos. You know, this is kind of just me. Chilling and playing Pokemon and talking. You know, I love this shit. This is, I, I couldn't be happier making this series. Uh, you know, it's not like I'm, I'm doing a walkthrough or I'm like trying to speed through the game or anything. I'm just playing Pokemon and talking. That's a great little thing that I've let, I've allowed myself to, to do here on this channel. I love it. I still don't know if, if like when you get 100 XP, if it's split between everything or if it's given to everything directly, so I'm going to keep dropping off everything I get. I, mm, no, you're still level 6. Go down here. I wish it, there, I mean, maybe there is a way. I just don't know, but it'd be really good if there was a way to uh, make it so that when you catch a Pokemon, it goes straight to your box. That'd be really, really good. Just considering how much you have to catch in this game. That's how you get XP, so. Okay, sure, Pidgey, why not? And then, hope. Oh, you will... You little jumpy boy. Oh, perfect. Perfect. When you start getting great balls, I'm probably gonna go for like another shiny hunt and then grind out uh, money and go for a great ball like or great balls like that. Just upgrade, get like you know 200 great balls or something. So that's what I did with pokeballs. Pretty good to get to just get way more than you need when it comes to that because well you know. You don't want to end up uh, finding a shiny or something and then being like, oh, I don't have anything to catch you in. Hooray. Uh, I don't want to go too high. Uh, we'll, we'll go to like, we'll go to nine. Uh, no, okay, we'll, we'll, we'll stop after this. We'll see what kind of level we're fighting. I'm going to go buy some Pokeballs because, well, no, actually, I don't need to. I'm just going to fight the gym and then we might be able to buy Great Balls, so I'll wait for that. Um, but yeah, let's just... Go see what uh, what kind of levels we're looking at. If it's something that Nidoran can handle, great. If not, we'll go train some more. See, like, because I'm uploading this daily, I'm not going to be doing any editing or anything, of course. It's just, like I said, it's just me playing Pokemon. And I, I, I couldn't be happier. You know, this is an awesome series to be doing. There you go. 
Like most of the time when I when I do series, I I, I do them to entertain. You know what I mean? But here, I'm like I said, I'm just I'm just doing it for fun. <laughs> Simple as that. I want to play the game. I'm playing the game. I'm talking about what I'm doing. Yada yada. Catching shinies. That's great. Add you to the party. Uh, and we didn't have anybody else, right? It was just removing these two, and then we're good, I think. Could add a Venusaur in the party. <laughs> I could add a, a Bulbasaur. Actually, really quickly, I want to show you something. <laughs> this is the thing that everybody was uh, freaking out about. And by the way, Venusaur's new little pixel sprite in this game looks amazing. I wish they remade like more of them, because, I mean, that, that's just awesome. I love pixel sprites of Pokemon. They look so cool. Um... Like you, lead. Are you too big to be in here? He might be too big. Yeah, he's too big. <laughs> okay, watch this. The way Venusaur follows you is like nothing I've ever seen before. <laughs> Look at the way he hops. He's like a frog. <laughs> this is when people saw this, they were freaking out. They were like, "What the hell? This is not my Venusaur." But really, how else is he gonna run at you? It makes sense. <laughs> it looks so silly though. I think if you walk, doesn't he? Yeah, he's a little walking animation too. I really like the, the the follower features in this game. Done really well. And like Beedrill, I'll do Beedrill after this. He uh, he's really quick, so he he goes like ahead of you. Here, let me show you. Uh, take out a Pokeball. Like you you kind of like guide him with your with your uh, controller. It's pretty cool. He goes ahead of you, and you can like make him. Do zigzags and stuff. <laughs> He's a cool follower. I like Beedrill as a follower. He's what I was using for most of the time, shiny hunting. Just keep me company. But at the end of it, I just turned him off. Let me let me double triple check that I'm recording. All right, we're good. Because when I when I caught my uh, my shiny Nidoran, I could have sworn I was recording, but I wasn't. Uh, let's make you get out of Pokeball because why would I lead with anything but my shiny? I miss this. This is why I loved Soul Silver. <laughs> Leading with shinies is like my favorite, my favorite freaking thing. Look at shiny Pokemon behind you. I loved that. Was the thing. All right, Jim's looking. Oh, Jim's looking sweet. Look at this. It's like in the anime when they had these little, little like patches where they would fight on. That's cool. Hiya, you're here to challenge Jim, aren't you? I'm not. I'm. Uh, I'm not a trainer, but I can tell you. You are. Sorry, I'm not a trainer, but I can tell you're worthy of challenging the gym. Now, let's get started. Pure City Gym only allows trainers who know type matchups to enter. There are few types that you have an advantage, or that have few. There are few types that have an ad advantage against the gym leader's rock type Pokemon. But for trainers who never challenged a gym before, we have them use either grass or water Pokemon. You have to show me a grass or water Pokemon if you want to face the gym leader. Really? Wow. You not have one? You can find a grass Pokemon near Palatown. Come back once you're caught. Once you've caught the Pokemon you need, Pure City Gym will be waiting. Well, dang. Okay, I guess we're gonna have to throw something into our, our little party then. Uh, I wonder if I could have shown him my box. Probably not. <laughs> Should we show him the Venus or should be like, yeah, you know what? You win. Don't even bother. I don't I don't want these these guys to get hurt. Let's, let's just add a uh, Bulbasaur to the party. That's good enough. Not gonna use it, but uh, put it in there. Put it in there. All right. Yep. 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 There's your grass type. Great, Pokemon's exactly what I wanted to see. Uh, head on in, aim to become a Pokemon champion. Alright. I think I remember the guy in this gym having a Sandshrew, but that's all I remember. Maybe there was like a Spiro somewhere as well, but then Brock has Geodude and Onyx. They better not have changed that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be mad if they change the Geodude Onyx combo. Yeah! <laughs> Alright. Now I am gonna have to fight. Oh my god, it looks so. Oh, the shine! That's the first time I see that. Oh, it looks so good. Why are you telling me to shake? Kirby support. Huh? Your ends attack rows and defense and special attack and special. That's kind of broken, to be honest with you. It just basically used EV boost on me. That me that uh, Z move. Oh, it looks so good. Um, poison sting is gonna do crap. So is Peck, though. I think we're gonna go for this poison. I think that's probably our best bet. Other than that, yeah, especially when it starts spamming defense curl. Oh yeah, I have battle animations off. My bad. I'll turn those back on after. I figured it might help me when shiny hunting. It didn't, but <laughs> I figured it might. 
turn that back, uh, back on. Poison would be... Oh no, we did get a poison. I just didn't notice because, again, I have battle, uh, battle style off, or whatever you want to call it, so I didn't hear it. I don't, I don't think Peck is going to do much more. I think we're just going to keep spamming this. I should do plenty. So yeah, let's make it a, a goal to not use that EV boost because that's really, really strong. Like, nothing's going to be a challenge if I just use that. If, if we do get a uh, double kick before Brock, it's going to be really easy. But if we don't, it's going to be really hard. <laughs> so I don't really know what I'm hoping for here. Everybody looks like adults that got shrunk in this game. <laughs> That's the Pokemon way, though, isn't it? Okay. And then this is going to be the last turn. Should I heal or anything? Ah. Let's just poison this thing. I love the sparkle when this thing enters battle, though. That's so cool. I'm so happy that I have a shiny with me to start the game. It's been a while since I've done this. So cool. You beat Picnicker Amani, or whatever her name was. I missed that. Okay, let's go back and heal. Fortunately, didn't learn Double Kick yet. Yet. Um, I, need, I need to heal. I can't just fight the next trainer right away. That'd be a bad idea. I guess if we are struggling with a battle for whatever reason, like if we just can't beat Onyx, then we'll uh, we'll go ahead and do an Eevee boost. But what are we at now? 31 minutes. So I might end this episode here. I feel like it's the right thing to do. Um, I would love to keep going, but it's just I don't want to run out of time, really. So yeah, yeah, I'm going to end off this episode here. Um, thank you so much for watching, though. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. I almost said Pikachu. Got the shiny uh, before this one, so feeling great. Next next episode, we're going to be fighting Brock. Uh, and then probably heading to Mount Moon. I don't think I'm going to be uh, hunting Charizard, or Charmander in there anytime soon, just because I want to get lures first to increase the rate of rares, which he is a rare, I'm guessing. But yeah, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And uh, yeah. See you next time.